Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video in our series, Prince of the Lost Tapes. Now, there's one thing I can say for sure. Only Prince would write and record an entire 10-track album for a group that kind of didn't exist. Or maybe semi-existed. Because sooner or later, the sheer power of his will meant that some form of it would. And this was the case when Prince put together his first girl group. You might be thinking of Vanity 6, but we are here today to talk to you about the incredibly short-lived girl group that Prince tried to put together before Vanity 6. A group that, as far as we can tell, had two out of three members who really didn't seem to have any interest in actually being performers or being in a group. But because it was Prince, and they were in his circle, they at least entertained the idea, although not for very long. Folks, it's time to talk about the hookers. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the little bell for notifications. It really helps our channel grow. So if you've enjoyed our content in the past and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. You can also like this video if you enjoy it and leave us a comment. All right, let's do this thing. So, who were the hookers? And what was this project about? Let's go back to the beginning. It seems that sometime in early 1981, Prince first decided that he wanted to form a girl group. It's been stated that after seeing the 1980 film The Idol Maker, Prince began to view himself in the same vein as the film's protagonist, a man who sees himself as the ultimate music impresario who developed and created multiple successful musical acts. We all know Prince had a seemingly infinite tap of musical creativity, and at this point, already had both his own career and band, and that of the time. The girl group was the obvious next step, and it surely had not escaped Prince that one of his heroes, George Clinton had done this exact thing with the Brides of Funkenstein. One other thing that Prince did throughout his career was, instead of holding auditions for would-be singers, he often attempted, and generally succeeded, in bringing in people who were already part of his circle. Whether or not these people had any musical talent or were even interested in actively participating in being entertainers didn't always seem to be of much concern to Prince in these situations. And thus, the hookers were born, consisting of three women, only one of which seemed to be really willing to give this whole thing a shot. That individual was Susan Moonsey, one of Prince's girlfriends and future member of both Vanity Six and Apollonia Six. But the other two? Well, they were Susan's sister, Laureen, and Prince's personal assistant, Jamie Shoup. Now, of course, when it came to songwriting, Prince worked at a level far ahead of us mere mortals, and so over the course of a few months in the summer and fall of 1981, Prince assembled no less than 10 songs for this group, and even found time to get them to do a photo shoot, the pictures of which we've included in this video. Those 10 songs were Drive Me Wild, Makeup, and Wet Dream, all of which eventually found their way onto the Vanity 6 album, and seven more songs, none of which ended up getting released in Prince's lifetime. Those other seven songs were Jealous Girl, of which Prince's later 1987 re-recording got posthumously released on Sign of the Times Deluxe, Mink Kitty Cat, which remains unreleased but could possibly be an early version of Velvet Kitty Cat, which found its way posthumously on Purple Rain Deluxe, two more currently unreleased songs called Pizza and Gym Class, I Need a Man, which again was re-recorded -re years later, and then that later version released posthumously on Sign of the Times Deluxe. And finally, Money Don't Grow on Trees, of which Prince's original demo made its way posthumously onto 1999 Super Deluxe. It seems that Susan had done the lead vocals for Makeup and Drive Me Wild, which likely explains why these songs were able to be used for the Vanity 6 album, but I Need a Man, Jealous Girl, and perhaps other songs had vocals from Jamie Shoup. It's not known whether Susan's sister Laureen ever actually performed any lead vocals. So what became of the hookers? Well, within just a few months of all these songs being done, 
Both Jamie and Laureen informed Prince that they had no interest in pursuing musical careers and did not wish to move forward in any way with this project. In a case of excellent purple timing, however, it was around the same time that Prince met and began dating Denise Matthews, renaming her Vanity and turning the Hookers project into Vanity 6, with Susan, of course, still on board. Prince also discovered at this time that his lighting director, Roy Bennett, happened to be married to an extremely talented singer by the name of Brenda, who had already been performing with Ken Lyon and the Tombstone Blues Band for the better part of a decade at this point. Thus, Jamie and Laureen were out of their own volition, the hookers dissolved as quickly as it began, and with Vanity and Brenda filling the two spots, Vanity 6 was born, and their album would follow the next year, in 1982. So there we have the odd tale of the hookers, a band that for the most part only existed mostly in Prince's head, plus a handful of studio sessions and as far as we know, a single photo shoot. Given that Laureen and Jamie had no interest in being artists, it seems unlikely that the Prince estate would ever release the demos that they performed on, as the two women would probably not have any interest in that happening. That being said, it's certainly possible we may someday get to hear the original Prince vocal versions of some of these tracks. Maybe if the estate decide to release additional volumes in the originals series. Of course, we did already get one of them on the first originals album, and that's Prince's vocal demo of Makeup. Would you be interested in those songs being released? Did you know about the Hookers Project? Or was this news to you? My name is Casey Rain, and we are the Violet Reality. If you enjoyed this video, please drop us a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't already. It really helps our channel grow and we'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace and be wild. Hey, I'm Anna Fantastic and you're tuned in to The Violet Reality.